What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list. How about a Kia Soul? I don't know, I kind of like them. I always have. I know a lot of people's gonna laugh. Didn't these used to have commercials with like rats or chipmunks or something driving? I don't, I don't remember. 155,000 miles on the clock. Personally, I've always liked them. Oh, okay. Baby up in this B. Yeah, that's that's classy. Keep it classy, folks. Real classy. Yeah, okay. Um, front tires, practically bald. Back tires, looks pretty decent. The body looks pretty decent. Busted windshield. Yeah, she's, you know, she's all right. She's got some miles on her, though. 150. I guess that's not... I, I Sometimes I think about Kia and Hyundai, and I remember how they used to be. And it's like, whoa, 150. <laughs> Today, I don't think it's like that anymore. These things are, are very reliable, unlike some of the German stuff that I come across. Oh, nope. It smells way too good in this car, which tells me there's air fresheners covering up something. Oh, there it is. That is a hell of an air freshener, too. Whew, boy, oh boy. Uh, somebody has removed that panel. We've got uh, Mr. Train Station. You guys watch Yellowstone, right? I love Yellowstone. We'll need you to take Jimmy to the train station. Yeah, okay, anyway. No, nothing, nada. Very dirty. Smells. This thing right here, although I love Yellowstone, Rip is a cool mofo, but uh, can't do it, man. That thing stinks. Like, that air freshener is ruining the smell of this car. I mean, really, really bad. So, let's pop this hood. We gotta rush through. It's gonna be a short video. We're gonna have to make it quick. Because I've got a... It's 420. I've got 10 minutes, so there's no way I'll even be able to finish this today. I'll have to come back tomorrow and continue the walk around. For you guys, though, you won't notice anything. It'll just be like it all happened at once. The magic of editing, right? But for me, I tried to get her done today. I really did. But the rain, it rained today. And it kind of prevented me from being able to get out and do the do the filming I needed to get done. So let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Whoa. All righty then. converter there we go jeez that <laughs> was insane it shows to have a full tank of gas the steering feels good but she sure is missing her catalytic converter important window works less important window works air conditioning yes works Brakes feel good. Goes backwards. It goes forwards. Why is this thing sitting here? Almost has to be a bad transmission. You wouldn't send it off for a damn catalytic converter, you know what I mean? That's ridiculous some dum-dums looks like some vaping stuff or something oh lubricating oil baby bliss babyless lubricating oil huh babyless what is it? okay I, I probably don't want to know probably don't want to know so she needs some tires she needs a catalytic converter alternator charging Sure is. Can you hear me? Probably not. Okay, well, she runs, she moves. Cold air. I don't even remember what year this is. Let's take a look real quick. 
It is a 2016, really? A 16. Dead again, dead as a doornail. It's not that old, and it is a little higher mileage, I guess, but, huh. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on my list just because I'm I'm curious. I'd almost buy it just to find out what the hell's wrong with it. Moving on. Next on my list, a 2010 BMW 328 Xi. That means it's all wheel drive. It's got the small engine, 176,000 miles on the odometer. So far, the body's looking pretty good. That exhaust looks like it may be a little bit aftermarket. Oh, she's got a little, a little crunch on the quarter there. Tires look really good. She's got a nice set of tires on her. Okay. I'm. Oh, it says a non-runner. Well, that should make this video very short then. And, and I need that because the last car is a BMW up there. Oh boy, what is this? Triple Odor Guard Cat's Pride. It wasn't for the car. The car actually smells like a BMW. It smells like leather. Got some paint damage on the roof there pretty common yeah she's a little she's a little dirty she's a little nasty it's it's not too bad there's a lighter we'll go ahead and pop the hood because we know it's a german car it's not going to start it's got a dead battery a hundred percent every time okay not every time but almost every time it would help if i knew where the hood release was it's right there in front of me and I missed it. Oh boy, it's got a red valve cover. Oh man. You know that means business right there. This is it. HPS Performance Products. Oh man. Oh, what is this? What is this? Innovate Performance Chips. Yes, sir. Let's throw a jump on this and uh, let's see what it doesn't do. What do you guys think? You think the listing is correct and it's a non-runner? Or you think she's gonna fire right up? Personally, I think the listing's correct. I do, I think the listing is accurate. I don't see any power in here at all. Ah, there we go. There we go. Come on, oh yeah, yeah, she wants to run. That's all right, is she out of gas? No, it's got a quarter of a tank. Maybe put a little throttle into it. No. No. Huh. Service 4x4. She's got some problems. Obviously. I'm gonna cycle the key a couple times. Maybe it's a fuel pressure issue. Okay. No. No. She tried when we first cranked it. She tried. She's not doing anything now. I think we got a fuel issue. I do. Huh. I would almost bet. I'd almost bet fuel pump. I hate to diagnose cars when I haven't looked them over yet. You know, like mechanically but i'm gonna shake the car a little see if we could stir up that fuel pump a little bit huh interesting I wonder if this car has been sitting because that, that smelled like a car that's been sitting. She's got a hot battery or no, no, she doesn't. <laughs> I forgot. I put, uh, I put a jump pack on it. It's 427. I got three minutes to get out of here. Oh, come on, old girl. Come on. No. Not gonna happen. Okay. I think I know what's wrong with this one though. I do. And like I said, I really hate, really, really hate to guess about something like that. But I just, I got a hunch on this one. When we first tried to start it, 
I don't know if you could hear or not, but she, she tried to pop off. She really did. She tried. She didn't succeed, but she never did it after that. I think she's got a fuel pump that is dead. When we first put juice to it, it probably kind of shocked her back to life just for a second, just long enough to get a little bit of fuel into the rail there. She tried to pop off of the fuel pump, immediately died again. You can tell it's been sitting a long time. I didn't see this until now. Look at all this. Some of these leaves are really old, really, really old and dead. So she's been sitting a while. What if it's just a fuel pump? Well, what if it's not? I don't know. With that, we're gonna have to go. It is 428, which means they are closing the gates. Unfortunately, that means I can't get to my last BMW of the day. We got a cute little 535, I believe, sitting over there. So I guess we'll have to come back tomorrow and check that out. So it's a new day and we're back to take a look at the 535. If I remember correctly, this is a twin turbo and they produce some pretty good horsepower. These are some pretty quick cars. Now, it'd be better in a three series, but I like the room of a five series. Very interested to find out why there was tape all over all of these windows. Gap issues in the back. You can see it definitely took a hit back here. Muffler got pushed in a little bit, but I don't see any real damage. This side looks like it may be sitting down a little bit further than it should. All of the windows apparently at some point were down. No odometer. What does that mean? OBD, OBX? I don't know. Yeah. This is a 2008. Does it have key? Oh, water is pouring out of the car. I opened the door and water is pouring out of it. Gee, I wonder why it doesn't run. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's got something to do with being full of water. Let's take a sniff test. Oh, is this an airbag? That is, I think that's an airbag from a rear end deployment. So she was definitely hit in the back. Airbags went off. What's going on over here? Seatbelt pretensioner is blown. The interesting thing is though, is this does not show up as a, uh, this does not show up as a collision. So, okay. Oh, the handle broke for the hood. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. I've had to deal with this before on these damn things. Give me a second. All right, I don't know what somebody was doing in here, but somebody is taking a lot of crap apart. I'll bet this runs. It almost had to. I'm telling you, I've just, I had a hunch about it when I saw it. Yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it, but is this the is this the twin turbo or no? Because normally it says like twin scroll or twin power turbo on it. And I don't see that on this one, but I do see the intercoolers. So yeah, this is it. Is it still, it's oily up here, man. It looks like the belt is coming off of the. <laughs> this thing is in bad shape. The belt is hanging off of the pulleys. Everything under here is just soaked in oil and grease. Yeah, this thing, this thing is not very good. No, I got a, I got a bad feeling about this one now, but I think it'll run. Let me grab a boost pack real quick. Let's find out because according to this, it doesn't run. Because of that, it's not gonna sell for a whole lot of money. If I can get it to run, I'll buy it, I will. If they'll sell it, I will absolutely buy it as long as I can get it at a good price. Now, it's also really important to remember if I do get this running, all right, and that's a big if, it might run, it might not, but since it was involved in an accident, I think maybe it will. Great, somebody has, <laughs> somebody has screwed with it, which means it probably won't start. It probably won't start. It's in neutral, and I'll bet we can't get it in park. Nope, they have manually shifted the transmission into park. Yeah, let's see what it does. It won't start in neutral, really? Really? Come on, every other car starts in neutral. Are you serious? This one won't. Transmission malfunction, not in park, dynamic braking response malfunction. Okay. 
159,000 miles on the odometer, though. I, I believe this runs. I do. I think if you could get it into park, you could get it to run. What someone did under here, I have no idea. I have no idea. They got under here and started screwing. So there's nothing under here. It's just an electronic shifter. It's just like a paddle, like a game controller. Uh, there's nothing you can do with this to put it in park. You have to get at it from underneath. Um, and the car sits too low to the ground for me to climb under there. So, this sucks. I was really hoping... Most cars will start in neutral, not a BMW. Try it one more time. No. Well, we got it to do something that's better than nothing. Obviously, uh, when Copart was messing with it, they could not get the hood open. Um, and that's what I wanted to point out before we get out of here is it's not their job to sit here and figure out how to work certain things to get the hood to pop on them. They go through a lot of cars. All right. So they get in, if they can pop the hood, great. They'll pop it. They'll put a jump on it and see what it does. And then they're done. That's it. They're not here to mechanic on these cars. They're here to move them in, list them, move them out. There's a lot of cars to go through. So even though I was able to pop the hood in a matter of about 10 seconds, that's not their job. Their job is not to figure out the quirks and features of each individual car. They just reach in. If it works great, if it doesn't, hey, you got to move on to the next one. So this one's in pretty rough shape, guys. I am not going to bid on this one. I, I really had high hopes. I'd planned on it, but I'm not bidding on this one. Uh, it's got airbag damage for sure because that headrest is popped the seatbelt pretensioner is popped the tires are bald the body is not in good shape the rear end does have damage and looking under the hood which is something i wouldn't have been able to do if i hadn't come out here and checked it out in person i see all the oil all over the front of this engine it's just everywhere and on top of the oil the belt is hanging off of the pulleys which means something is going wrong down there on the front of the engine there's a pulley somewhere that is coming apart no thank you no thank you it's risky enough buying a bmw anyway i'm sorry to you bmw lovers out there uh i'm not the one man i'm not the one i'm just not uh it's risky buying these things even one that seems like it's well sorted uh <laughs> yeah till you drive off with it <laughs> they're nice cars man they're nice cars they are i'm not going to argue they're, they're nice cars they're very luxurious some of them are really fast they're fun cars they can be but no not this one this one's not for me so we're done with that ladies and gentlemen we're going to get out of here i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed and you can follow me on facebook instagram tiktok auto auction rebuilds links to all of that below the video be sure to share the video with your friends and stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one